they're going to rip them in six. Always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. Only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right. Let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. In fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! They'll chop you up, feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Long Locks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess. He sleeps to this day, I think. Thank you. 